Hello. Hello. Hola, mis amigos. We're back. He's in a podcast. So four? Five? I think this is... Eleven? This is... No, this is five, season two. Season, season two, two. Back in the car. Back, in the, back in the car, back in the cut. Like a shank. Like a shank, though. As Nicki Minaj says, today, a lot of NFL... <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of star bench cuts. And a lot of star bench cuts. We're officially, we're officially the star bench cut podcast. Though. We know you guys loved them last time. We got a lot of, a lot of feedback. Mm. So much. Tons of feedback. <laughs> so many. Lots of uh, awesome comments on our videos. Emails. Yeah. And <laughs> Call invoices. In, <laughs> invoices. Fax machine. Right. Was a lot of, off the hook. A lot of faxes. Yeah, that's, so. that's fax. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. So we have. I have a start bench cut here for Cam. You just right off the, the rip. Has nothing to do with sports. But we're gonna Pretty usual. We're going to get over with it. We're used to that now. Start bench cut. Kendrick Lamar. K. Dot. Okay. Joey Fatass. <laughs> is, is the second one. Yeah. Number three. Mario Judah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big dog, big bear. I'm a lion. <laughs> I'm the predator. Um, starting Mario Judah. Right. You have to. Ben Kendrick. Right. Sorry, Joey. You're cutting Joey fat ass? <laughs> you have to. Wow. Mario Judah's got such a great discography. I'm a big dog, big bear. Mm. I would love it. See, I would love that to be our intro song, but just copyright. Sorry. If Mario, you want to collab? You want to get on the show? Yeah, come on the show. We'd love you. We'd love to watch you have one of your exorcisms <laughs> on stage. Okay, so uh, I got lots of start bench cuts. Awesome. And But before we do that, I want to start off with a new segment. We do our own little star bench cuts of the week. So just stuff that happens in our lives. Okay. So I'm going to go first. I'm going to let you think a little bit. Okay. And if you can't think of something on the spot, that's okay. We'll right. just pause the... We hit a we'll pause just button. We'll just cut it. We'll just cut. We'll, we'll cut it. We won't start a bench it. Cut anyway. It. So cut my... It. I'm start... My start of the week. Play of the week. Start of the week. Is my neighbors putting out Christmas stuff on November 4th. Okay. That's my start. Because okay. what the hell are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Right. I love the energy, though. Love the crackhead Karen energy. Love I the fifty-five-year-olds going around me. No, it's absurd. Like like it's absurd. Uh, Let Thanksgiving have its day, for the love of God. For the love of God, I, I like Thanksgiving more almost, other than the presents. If Thanksgiving had presents, it'd be, it'd be unbelievable. <laughs> powerhouse. It'd be, unbelievable. it'd be a dynasty. My God, it'd be the Patriots in 07. <laughs> um, low key, forgot what my bench of the week was. My start of the week is. Nobody on this is going to re- know what I'm talking about. Oh, God. My start of the week is <laughs> only one day of advisory from now on. Heck, yeah. So, basically, we have If you're these... from Wanakee, you know what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, we have these, not... like, we have these, like, sections where it's like, oh, we're going to play games like we're in second grade during online school. And we're both seniors. Yeah. In high school. And they asked us to find something blue and show it to your camera. <laughs> no. Well, show and tell. Hi- Who is my hide and seek on Zoom? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I just turned my camera off. Where am I? <laughs> ah, ah. All right, my bench of the week is my severe weight gain from eating, like, seven candy bars Halloween night. That's good. I'm, I'm benching that because I prefer it didn't happen. But my, there's something that worse happened. My bench is almost, uh, I was exposed to COVID-19. Hmm. Beat the case, though. Shout yeah. out to AK. <laughs> but <laughs> we did, we did beat, the race from COVID? We beat the case. We beat the I, vid, bro. I did the race on vid, and I won. <laughs> Boom. Uh. So and then my the my cut. cut my cut of the week. In the cut? I'm in the cut. My cut of the week is me breaking my controller <laughs> and FIFA and just my overall anger management issues. And I think I need to see a therapist. That's my that's my cut of the week. That's a pretty solid cut. <laughs> I well, I mean I'm throwing everything. My house it's, it looks like a tornado hit it. My cut of the week is the fact that it is already freaking november yeah and like we i haven't left my house i've left my house about 15 times in the last 10 months and half of them are to do this <laughs> woo, woo. shout out vid fuck you vid yeah actually all my homies hate vid thanks all right um all right lots of start bench cuts here rattle so, them off i'm ready i'm okay. ready so there's a tier one of holidays, right? And the tier one is only two. I think it's Thanksgiving and Christmas, and nothing touches. A lot of people argue Halloween at that, but I agree with you. So that's my tier one. So I have a tier two start bench cut. Okay. Halloween. Okay. Easter. Ooh. 
and New Year's. Ooh. Start bench cut. Start bench cut. You start one, you like it. You bench one, it's okay. You cut one, you're like, mm, maybe not my favorite. I start bench cut. I might make a lot of people mad with this list. Oof. Let, let them know. I'm starting Easter. Uh, I love Easter. Boom. Grandma always makes a big ass ham. Uh, you get to go egg hunting. Cheese, cheesy, cheesy potatoes. That's what you talking hey, about. Hey, <laughs> well Easter egg hunt. Uh. I mean, it's basically an excuse to eat your face. Um, you know, I, I actually Christ, eat Christ rose on that day. Shout out you, we're Jesus. A, we're a completely non-denominational pod. Starting Jesus. We're a non-denominational <laughs> pod. But I'm starting Easter. Benching New Year's, uh. cutting all Hallow's Eve. Boom. I don't give a fuck. E. Sorry for the language. Halloween just never did it for me. I mean, I always thought it was, eh, yeah, cool, free candy. But then I would get home and I would, like, get mad because I didn't get as good of candy as the rest of the kids. And, yeah, and you always, we, you, we always had school the next day. Yeah. This year it fell perfectly on a, was it Saturday? It was a Saturday, Saturday on Daylight Savings. Uh. Just Except we nobody could do anything. Yeah, but, you know. I was the the one fun part. I could start this too. This could be the second start. I was just scaring kids on my ring system. Hell yeah! So they would like there's like these five year olds like their little Spider Man costumes walking up to my door and they're like, oh look at all these king size candy bars! Boom! And I'm like I'm like I'm bitch I'm a ghost. <laughs> no, no no that's not what I was, I was actually doing. Oh for days and days. <laughs> I did the most. Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, golden hour. I'm blinded. I'm blinded by the light. Anyway, but I was like, I was just like breathing. Like I was like, I was just like, I was like, ah, ah, take one or else. You should have played uh, Mario Judas song. No, that would have been dope. Just like, trick or treat. I'm a big dog, big bear. Okay, that was, all right. Anyway, so my star bench cut for that would, I, mm, mm. I, so you, you bench New Year's, right? I mess with New Year's. I think I'm cutting New Year's. I, I've just never, like, done much on New Year's, and, like, I mean, the one fire part is they always got, like, super good bowl games, mm -hmm. so, but, like, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm benching Halloween. But we get, we get memes, like, I'm not seeing any movement! <laughs> I'm the, my, hey, hey. Great meme, my, one of my favorite memes is, sorry, 2021? 2020 felt like it was yesterday! <laughs> oh my god! Was it? I, I love that oh, meme. I haven't seen you in a year. Or oh, I love the memes that are like 2020 was 2021 is going to be my year. Yeah. That when is it ever? It gets worse every year. Just slowly just want to die. It's like the Dallas Cowboys is a person. <laughs> it's it's not <laughs> No, it ain't. It ain't ever your year. You getting your quarterbacks hurt. They got no receivers. Literally, think about it. Since, since we were born, the Cowboys have just been like getting worse. Like, my happiness and the Cowboys are on the same graph right now. Position so, time graph. So, basically, correlation does mean causation. Yeah. Okay. So, maybe the Cowboys need to make the Super Bowl. Maybe I'll... No. Maybe mind. AC... Ki <laughs> maybe AP Psychology needs to change its curriculum. Yeah. Because, obviously, your happiness correlates to the Cowboys sucking. Boom. Take that, science. I'm, I'm starting up, science? Easter. Call me... Call me... Call me Bill Nye. Call me DT. Uh. DJT. Down J. Trump. Fuck a science, man. We're not going to get into it. We're going to get, we're gonna get into it, but hey. not enough. We think that they both suck. Hey, but Joe Biden putting on a little ISO, putting on a clinic, gaining seven. LeBron, down 3-1. He's spamming them. Dribble That's moves. why he has those shades on. You know that LeBron meme where he's got the he's shades He's spamming those beats? dribble moves. He's hitting the combos. <laughs> snatch back. Snatch back. Trump's... <laughs> Trump's going... Biden's like, I got take. I got take. Boom, 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 ba boom, boom. Biden's like, I got take. Give me the ball. <laughs> you got take over. I got take. Give me the rock. When I shoot it, it goes in. I am just like Joe Biden. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's enough politics. Yeah, we're not. We are a politic pod, usually. We right. love talking. AOC, awesome. Good stream. I definitely know what she <laughs> does for politics. Um, Weird flirting. We're a swing state. Corpse. On we're a swing state, baby. We run this. This is our election. Shout out Wisco. This is our year. <laughs> yeah, 2020 turns out it was our year. We have 30 COVID cases in the Wisconsin Badger football team. Just vibing in the Ritz car. All right. Oh, uh, next. Oh, wait, no, we got to start bench oh, cuts. Oh, yeah, we got a lot, dude. Mm. We're living life out here. <laughs> start bench cut. Andy Dalton. <laughs> Dwayne Haskins. And Ben DiNucci. <laughs> 
Can we just talk about Ben DiNucci, bro? I love that energy. My man's just out every other play, just uh, sidearm, uh, sidearm. He just knows that they're gonna fucking lose. Bro, he looks like Mahomes, actually. It's like Mahomes, but instead of throwing it like 40 yards downfield and like winning by 50, it's like a four yard pass that like hit his player in the shin. <laughs> Bro, there was one where he was about to go like out of bounds. In the cut. He threw like a curveball, like inbounds. He threw like a slider that like like moved, and they yeah. almost got picked up. Looking like Cade Nelson in the cut. <laughs> mm. Testing to see if you watch this, Nelly. Yeah. You suck. You're horrible. Really bad at football. Lamar Jackson, point oh five, like point five instead of two point oh. But what? Yeah. Bum. You're a running back. Okay, so start bench <laughs> cut. Dwayne, Andy, Ben. Yeah. Because I think, because I think what's happening is Andy Dalton is hurt, and I think they benched Danucci. So I think they're starting like they're starting Cooper, Cooper Rush. Rush. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, well I'm starting Dwayne. As we know, we're pro Dwayne Haskins. Yeah, I would also start Dwayne. I mean, the guy just got the run of the mill. I mean, I'm gonna keep it a buck too. I'm benching Ben Danucci because I love. I am like, too. It was fun. Get to the watch. Red Rocket the hell out of my team. He's just done, man. I I'm sorry. Like he, he had a great run, 0 and 5 in the playoffs. He's basically Kirk, like, he was Kirk Cousins before Kirk Cousins. But now we got primetime Kirk. Boom. Ain't no primetime Andy. Uh, ain't, ain't no, no ain't no one ever been Andy. like, oh, let me see Andy Dolan in Sunday Night Football. No. Again. No, sir. But I ask for, I wish for Kirk every week on Sunday Night Yeah, no, that's truly what I would want. I'm like, holy shit, where the bum, 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 bum. Waiting all day for Sunday night with Kirk. <laughs> with Kirk yeah. <your> Cousins. <laughs> Right, hey, Jack, one. guess who's back? Kirk's back in town. <laughs> Ready for a Sunday night showdown. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I have a four-way one. So you're start bench cutting and murdering one. <laughs> start bench Cause, cut murder? Because I, I couldn't think of I couldn't think of a fourth thing that's worse than cut other than, other than getting murdered. All right. Okay. It's, it's uh, superheroes. Superman. Start bench cut murder? Yeah. Okay. Superman. Spider-Man. Batman, Iron Man, and like you could take the movies. No, I would I say have this right away. I would say 50, 50, 50 So you take movies into account and like how dope I have they it are. Already. All right, hit me. Iron Man start, Superman bench, Spider Man cut, murder Batman. You're murdering the Dark Knight. I don't freak with Batman. No, trust me, I don't like Batman I as love a character. Iron Man. But Dark Knight. It's a fine movie. Wait, say it again. I wasn't listening. Starting Iron Man, <laughs> benching Superman, cutting Spider-Man, okay. killing Batman. Okay, 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 okay. Woo! Woo! Oh, Woo back, yeah. baby. Uh, anyway. Also, this show would be perfect if we had a third guest. Just, oh. Oh. Please speak. You're in the back of our car. Please speak. <laughs> We're not kidnapping you. <laughs> we didn't lure you in with our king-size candy bars. No, this podcast episode airs every day. <laughs> we need you for more content. Yeah, just always, and we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna give you a place to sleep at night. It's yeah, called my welcome. basement. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, you you might be locked up technically. Locked up, okay. <laughs> Those are loose terms. Handcuffs. They're not even that uncomfortable. We should move on. Okay, uh, I'm starting. <laughs> I'm gonna start Spider Man. Really? I like Spider Man a lot. His <laughs> movies are good. I'm gonna bench Iron Man, cut Superman. And murder Batman, I guess. But dark, don't get it twisted. Dark Knight's one, one of the best the movies, movies ever. Of all time, yeah. But uh, Heath Ledger. He's not, dude. Heath Ledger. Start bench cut. Heath Ledger. If Heath uh, Ledger is in a list, I'm starting Heath every Ho time. Ho Joaquin Phoenix, and then that weird dude that played in the Suicide Squad. Do you remember that? That dude fucking blows. That's set. That, if that, it was that, start that bench cut, I'm still murdering that guy. No, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm starting Heath because Heath is the best. Joker I actually just watched time. Joe's Joker over again, and I love that scene. <laughs> You know what's not fair, Murray? <laughs> <laughs> you your fucking answer. <laughs> Bang. Boom. Next one. Where Boom. Was that? Where was that? Really All right, right. Another, another sports one. Whoa. Take it easy, Cam. Do you guys see that? Mm. <laughs> Yoga pants got me me mugging. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> anyway. Start bench cut. I'm starting that. Mm. <laughs> uh, use your contacts, clues, ladies and gentlemen. That's a fine woman yeah, just walked past. Res we respectfully left. We respect women on this podcast. Mm -hmm. She's not an object. She got to vote. Next one. Uh, <laughs> another sports one, as I was saying. Deshaun Watson. 
Yeah. Aaron Rodgers, yeah. Tom Brady. We're not talking all the time. We're talking this year. Starting A Rod, benching Tom, cutting Deshaun. Oh. Wow. Tom's playing like he's 25. No, I trust me. And I a- know. A Rod's a bad man. He's a bad man. He's the best. Their defense all is right. a problem. Uh, um, see, y'all got it twisted. You're gonna start Tom, aren't you? No. We're not gonna start the shot. I'm gonna start Aaron Rodgers, I guess. You've, <laughs> you've persuaded me. You're gonna cut Tom? Yeah, here's the thing. Like, Deshaun Watson, think about before this year, what were you putting Deshaun Watson as? Like, the fourth best QB in the league? No. Where were you putting him? Maybe top. You hate black people. Ten. No, I don't. Obviously. I think there were five no, quarterbacks. No, no, we tested you. We just tested you on this podcast. I put two white quarterbacks, <laughs> and I put one black one. And, oh, yeah, we cut. We decided to cut. Oh, it was just random. No, listen to me. No. Aaron Rodgers was better than You're him You're the last reason year. why Trump won 2016. Tannehill was better Wisconsin. than him last year. Lamar was better than him last year. Mahomes was better than him last year. Russell Wilson was better than him last year. Tyler Murray's better than him this year. Tom Brady's better than him. That's seven people that I would put ahead of Deshaun Watson. Okay, well, this year... One of whom is black. Russell Wilson, <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Russell Wilson's the whitest black man I've <laughs> ever met in my life. Praise Jesus. <laughs> I love everything, says Russell Wilson. Let's go, guys! Is he a robot? Let's go, guys! Let's go, team! Woo! Let's go, guys! He doesn't listen to rap. He listens to Christian rock he only. To Kanye's rap, <laughs> like the Christian Kanye. Yeah. God is king, Kanye. This is a guy dreams. A guy dreams. I'm trying to keep my faith. Okay. All right. Um. <clears throat> so we're gonna talk some more coaches, but I just want to see, you know, just we don't talk coaches enough. Like they run, NFL coaches? Yeah, they don't. They run. They run the town. Did you say like Play Jason shoot. Garrett, Mike McCarthy? <laughs> <laughs> Andy Reid, Pete Carroll, John Harbaugh. I picked three great coaches. Not so, I excluded Bill Belichick because he's always stuck. Now this year, yeah, it's, his roster's so bad. Yeah, it's. Terrible. But it's kind of his fault that the roster is bad because he kind of owns like the drafting stuff. I mean, so and it's a, it's a weensy bit his fault. A little bit. All right. Like he anyway. said, they sold out one three Super Bowls. He said that. Oh, really? They didn't win Super Bowls? I know. No, he said that's why they have no money, because they sold out and won three Super Bowls. And lost to Nicky Foles, man. Stephon Gilmore, please don't leave. He's leaving. I know. We, All right. We finna get him to the Jets and get Trevor Lawrence, dude. Let's <laughs> start bench cut. What okay, you got? It's, it's Harbaugh, Carroll, and, and Andy Reid. Andy Reid. Starting Andy Reid. Okay. Benching Harbaugh. And I love that. Because I, I hate Pete Carroll. See, but see, I thought I really thought you were gonna say Pete Carroll bench, but John Harbaugh, even when I like Harbaugh. so even after he got rid of his elite QB Joe Flacco, of obviously. the early 2010s, obviously, obviously, um, he still like his team was always like good. There was like one year. Also, his punter is always electric. He's always got the best kicker in the game. Talk. Boom. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> What's his first name? Sam, Sam Cock. Said cock. Love that. We love cock on this podcast. No, we're a pro cock pod. Yes, we are. Shout out you. Anyway, I love <laughs> John Arbaugh. His I brother, on the other hand. I hate his brother. I hate his Jim. His brother's not doing great. And uh, shout out he's, Pete Carroll. He's, shout he's, out Pete Carroll for passing the ball. Go Pats. Yeah. See, I was going to say, you could still put Pete Carroll, like, honestly, you could put Pete, you could, I could see a situation where you even start Pete Carroll. Yeah, because you know, I mean, actually, I'm starting Harbaugh, benching Andy Reid. Andy Reid is a little Andy bit Reed's, recency bias. Andy Reid's electric, but also look at what he has to work with. He's a great offensive coach. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but, Even with the Eagles, he was super. He made the playoffs like I want to say like 11 out of like 13 years with the Eagles. But honestly, Harbaugh's resume is a bit more impressive. It's good, man. Like Harbaugh's a damn good coach. And like don't and Pete Carroll too, man. Like he he went to the Super Bowl three times. Mm-hmm. Like, that's good. That good. It's better than the other two dudes. I don't know, honestly. Mm-hmm. But just to, straight, I just, the gum chewers cut. Hold on, let me pause this, Johnson. Okay. That quality should look better. 
You know how it's like I'm a ghost. How the hands look different. Here? Yeah, dude, it's weird. It's actually so it's weird. Like a video game. We live in a simulation. I agree. <laughs> Start bench cut another one. Let's get it. Kanye. I call this the I call this the KKK this, start bench cut. Is this based on music or is this based on political values? <laughs> oh, yeah, just music. So just simply how I feel about their music. Yeah. Okay. The, it's the KKK. Right. We love the KKK Kanye, on this podcast. Kendrick and Kid Cudi. And Kid Cudi. Oh. We love the KKK. Not Shout the out actual the KKK. KKK. Whoa. This KKK. This this one. Shout out to KKK. Cuddy, Kendrick, and Kanye. And see, I know a lot of you guys would already have this set, but this boy's big Cuddy lover. Big Cuddy boy. I am a big Cuddy boy. He's into Cuddy. I'm like a shank. I'm starting Cuddy. Ooh, wow. But I love Kendrick and Kanye, too. I just don't know who I... Because if you get rid of Kanye, then you lose all of his production. You lose... <laughs> So if you get rid of Kendrick, you get rid of one of the best lyricists the of all time. The GOAT. You get rid of the GOAT. One of the GOATs. The GOAT. No. Beanie. I'm... I'm starting Cud, benching K-Dot, cutting Yay. Wow. See, I got... I, I see. You're gonna, you're gonna start K-Dot, bench Yay, cut Yep, Cuddy. that's exactly it. Yeah. And see, the, like, dude, Kid Cudi's awesome. Like, he's so good. But... The problem is like the the gap from like 2011 to like 2018. What's there? You act like K Dot didn't have a gap. Cause he didn't drop. He oh he Kid Cudi was Kid Cudi was dropping. <laughs> and he was dropping pills into his mouth. Dropping three out of ten albums too. And though like, he's goaded, but also if you get rid of Kanye, like do you know like do you, is Kid Cudi a thing? Cause like yes. Dude, his best songs came on Man on the Moon, not... She said... Not Kid Sea Ghost. I, I I'm a... Love you. Right. No, I'm, I'm familiar. I can't get away from you. <laughs> I think they're one of the greatest duos ever. I want Kid Sea Ghost too really Kid bad. Kid Sea Ghost sometimes. I want it really, really bad. Yeah, give it to us. Save 2020. 2020 has been saved. Kid we C saved 2020. Kid Sea Ghost with... We Bor had to intervene. With Borat on the cover. <laughs> Nice. I still need to watch Borat. You haven't seen the original? Mm -mm. It seems like Napoleon Dynamite to me a lot. It's better. Like no, dude. No. Yes. No. I think it's better. I think it's better than Napoleon Dynamite. Dude, you've been brainwashed. <laughs> I think Borat's better. No. The original, not the second one. The second one's a. Yeah. It's too long of a gap. I don't like when movies come back after. I mean, it's been like 15 years, right? The only reason they released it is because everyone was like, the only thing that can save 2020 is Borat. They're like, okay, let's make a fucking movie. Okay, okay. It didn't save 2020. 2020 still sucks. All right, so, um, what do you think about fat coaches? Fat NFL coaches. There's a good amount of them. What do you think? Just what's your overall takeaway? Yeah, hey, we're talking because Belichick's not fat. No, though he's so, portly. Right. So are we talking portly or fat? No, we're talking fat. There's so, so talking... many because because ninety percent of coaches are portly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they all like rock the like. Oh, maybe you should get in the gym. <laughs> they rock the quarantine box. They rock the. I'm on the. I'm like walking on the treadmill for thirty five minutes. Yeah. They, they they rock the. Oh, I I just worked out for twenty minutes. Let me just eat a lot. Oh, I did. The, I deserve this. I did the elliptical and then like <laughs> curled for like twenty minutes. Yeah. No, they. they there's so many coaches that just. You gotta Belichick, practice what they preach. Mike Tomlin. I see. I was gonna say Mike Tomlin because Mike Tomlin, like he looked, he looked a little buff on the upper body. He looked, uh, he had, but he's chubby. James, he had that James Harrison work. He's chubby though. Okay, so who? I'm, so fat coaches, just Mike like what's McCarthy, your takeaway? Andy like, what do you think? You think the fatness is getting in the way of them coaching well? Yes. You think the fact that they can't condition with their squad it sets a bad example? Yeah. And the, the culture of the locker room because, is I like mean, bad. Let's say, let's say I'm at the forty, right? Yep. A play happens at the opposite 20. You need him to get down there and call the play. Yeah, or if they need a challenge. Yeah. But Andy Reid ain't chugging that beef 60 yards. <laughs> you see his pump pass, pink. pump pass and kick competition, though, when he was, like, 12? Maybe he is. Actually, he looked horrible He also horrible looked in that. like he was 7 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I, I I like fat coaches for comedic relief. Oh, for sure. Like, it's like, ha, ha, Mike McCarthy's mask can't fit around his face. <laughs> but. And Andy Reid's, like. Shield, <laughs> yeah. 
So I got five coaches here. Okay. And you just rank them however you want. Okay. Like any criteria you could possibly want. Okay. So we got Mike McCarthy. Mike. The cream of the crop. God. The Vince Wilfork of <laughs> Andy Reid. Okay. Matt Patricia. Bruce Arians. I feel like Matt Patricia is low-key, like, strong as hell, though. Hey, he won that Super Bowl. He's the reason they got that interception. No one else. Mm-hmm. That's his, That's on him. And then Romeo Cornell is also really fat. I don't know if he, he's, he's a Texan. Five. He's the Texans, like, interim. He's so fat. Okay, he... Oh, wait, no, I know him. Okay, yeah, he, he's going to be higher on my list. He's but like, I don't know what we're ranking it at. We're just like, ranking him? Yeah, he's, like, 105 years old. <laughs> so, um, I'm putting... <laughs> No criteria whatsoever. Just no. rank them. I'm <laughs> off the dome. So it's Andy Reid, Mike McCarthy, Mike McCarthy Matt, Patricia, Matt Patricia, Bruce Arians, Bruce Arians. Romeo Cornell. I'm putting Dope Bruce man. Arians at one because he's fucking hilarious. He comes out and says Gronk is a blocking tight end, and then mm-hmm. he has like two TDs the next game. Yeah. He also like low key hates Tom Brady. I think. I love how he gives Tom Brady shit. He just hates him. Yeah. He, Tom Brady threw like two picks. He's like, that's not gonna win us games. <laughs> Yeah. It's on the offense. Dude, remember with Jameis, though? Like, like he actually... Oh, him and Jameis were like, dude, like, that's... Like, he... The, the 30 for 30, bro. Were they like, you were never like, going to see that ever again. Were they, like, buddies? No. Oh, they were, like, it was like Favre and It'd be, like, Thompson. pre-game... Like, post-game, it'd be like, this is not our QB of the future. There's, like, six games left in the season. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. it's brutal. I love Jameis, like, like though. It's like Brett Favre and Ted Thompson back in the day. I'm a, I'm a, okay, I'm going to go so with... I'm, I'm putting Bruce Arians at one. Okay. Then... McCarthy at two for the memes. So we're doing a funny ranking now? Well, I can, I'm switching up my criteria. I'm putting the Texans interim at three. <laughs> okay. Romeo. Reed at four. Okay. Trish at five, because I feel like he's borderline important. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Matt Patricia at one. Hell yeah! And uh, here's why. He's just a great coach. He has a really good beard, too. Solid beard. He's voluptuous. Got some flow. Just Backwards hat wearing guy. Got the pencil. Pencil in the ear! Boom! Yeah! That's number one. Number two, I'm going to go with Mike McCarthy. The man that started the, the fat coaches. Like right here. Bro, he actually, you know, like, a triple XL mask. That's he has to have a custom one made for him. That's a, that's a screen. It's actually a shirt. No, I just went like this. <laughs> it's, <laughs> bro, it's actually a shirt. Like, what? Like, he, his mask is the oh, size yeah. of a normal person's shirt. Yeah. So that's number two. I'm going to go number, number three. We're going to go Andy Reid because he said he would trade a Super Bowl ring for a cheeseburger. And that's just all-time that's great. That's goaded. That is goaded. Four, I'm going to go with Bruce Arians because of the little hat, like little berets he wears. He's so rich. And number five, I'm going Romeo Cornell. He's got a dope name. And he's probably a better coach than Bill O'Brien. I just love how he's just so number six is Bill O'Brien. angry all the time. Bill <laughs> like O'Brien. Sean will like, throw a touchdown. He's just like. He has a job ain't done. They got the playoffs to make this year. Hand over to the fat lady, sing. Yeah, Romeo, sing for us. (laughs) Okay, next one. Um, Mario Judah, sing. (laughs) That's when you know it's over. All right. uh, (laughs) Okay, so, um, yeah, those, that's some awesome stuff. Good stuff. So do you want to do power rankings now? It's midway through, we're going to do a midway NFL segment. Are we doing, like, top five? Yeah. Do and then do like a team that surprised you in a good way, a team that surprised you in a bad way, disappointing and shocking. Let's start with that first. What's a team that really just popped off the page? So we're you? we're doing surprises first. Yeah, a team that surprised me from what I thought they were going to be at the beginning of the year is mm-hmm. the Pittsburgh Steelers. Absolutely, I was also going to say that. They're, so I'm not wow. have to come up with a new one. Right. Wow, they are they're they're good. They're a lot better than people gave them credit for. I think. Mm-hmm. A team that surprised me in a bad way, New England. They started off hot. Cam was looking good. Then Edelman and Nikhil get hurt. Some things start not going well. Cam you, Newton can't throw a ball. You lose Shaq Mason. You lose a D lineman, and everything just kind of crumbles. And I mean, but I mean, they were close with the Seahawks. They were close with the Bills. They were close with the Chiefs until we put Stidham in. Yeah. I think you give Cam Newton and that. Wait, Brian Horner in that game played so bad. Yeah, they were both horrible. Um, I want to die. Right. Uh, so I was gonna say Steelers. I guess another one that pops off the page as good, like surprisingly, mm, oh, you know, like that. You could do a player too. A player? Because I think T. Higgins is up there. Yeah, I I mean. But it's hard with rookies. The team's horrible. I I mean, I really do love how Kyler Murray's looking. Mm-hmm. Still can't throw the ball super accurate, but I mean, I you love. You got a cannon. Though. I love my midgy quarterback. He's got a cannon. 
You I see Carlos Dunlap's going to the Seahawks? Yeah, because he put his house up for sale after they lost the game once. Yep. That's dope. Love that. That's and like honestly, good for this, the Seahawks. This, the Seahawks surprised me. Honestly, the Buccaneers kind of surprised me. I wouldn't surprise Because we knew they were going to be good, but like it, it didn't take any time. It took week one. I it think, took one week for them to get going. I think they're defense Tom Brady surprised, surprised me. me. I, I was I was assuming Tom Brady would perform with weapons. You didn't they're, think he was going to take a little step back? Because he's taking a whole step forward again. I think their defense surprised me. Defense is great. I did not know their defense was like that. And it they, got overshadowed by the like fact that. that like Jameis Winston throws thirty picks, so like they start in their own territory like twenty times. Just yeah, out but of their nowhere. defense is top three in the NFL. Yeah, so they surprised me in a good way. Um, like I said, the Steelers are awesome. Ben Roseberry isn't doing too much. I'm. I'm not. Sold. They're not I'm that not, good. The Browns good. are. The Browns are yeah, all right. The Browns they're kind of like man, lost yeah. Odell, but like, I don't know how big of a factor that is. Raiders. That's who it is, bro. Raiders look good. Derek Carr, bro. Heck Josh yeah. Jacobs. Josh Jacobs is horrible. Hey, they beat the Chiefs. Yeah, shout I out, shout out. That was a trap game. Or Las Vegas. Sorry. Sorry, Black Hole. Don't Sorry, LB. Me. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Amen. I live by that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Every day. Oh, God. Wish this happened in Vegas so I could stay there. Oh, why couldn't this just happen? I wish my happiness stayed in Vegas. I think you're talking about your sadness. You said happiness. I think the happiness is in Vegas. Oh. Every kiss begins with K. Next one. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna, and then surprise you in a bad way. Did you did you say one? I said Patriots. Patriots are bad. Vikings are like I didn't think the Vikings were gonna be anything great, but they're like, not. They're not as bad as people think, though. Honestly. Honestly. Uh, Falcons are also horrible. We um, we've been on that wave. They're the worst ever. Shit. Um, Texans, they're surprising. I know they didn't, like, they kind of sold the op, but it was like, but, like, dude, they're so bad. And and then a team that, like, is good and, like, surprised me in the back, I don't know, man. Like, the Saints just, their, like, record's fine. But they're all, they're always like that, though. They're always going to be, like, uh, like an 11-4, and 11-5 playoff team. Yeah, but this year it's like, you, I don't feel any. And the Ravens, bro. They're like, don't get me wrong, there's a good team. Good. good. Get me started on Lamar, bro. He is getting exposed this year. Lamar. He is getting exposed. Bro, he's, his stats are actually, like, bad. Dude, he has also no pocket presence. He can't throw the ball that well. If he keeps running like that, he's going to get hurt. And they run four running backs. <sighs> defense is good. They have a really good defense. Only Marquise Brown makes me want to shoot my head every Sunday. Marcus Peters, though, he's pretty good at football. They have a good defense. They always have good defense. Mm -hmm. Um... Shout out Harbaugh. Boom. You got a defensive mind. All right, NFC, NFC beast rankings. It's time to update these bad boys. Washington football team won. <laughs> Obviously. Go. Number Just two. Get right off your four. Cowboys. I don't even know who the fourth team is. Giants. Giants three. Philly, Philly, Philly four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm Eagles good. at one. I like Washington. I think they have a little bit of potential. Got Chase Young. Got the young boy. Young buck. The defense is solid. Yeah. Actually, the Dolphins also are like, probably the biggest shock for me, I think. Put Fitzmagic back in the game. Bro, he had 93 passing yards in one of football games. Ain't nobody give a fuck about Tua. I could not care less if Tua plays a single game this year. I want to see lefty, Fitzmagic ball lefty out. Lefty quarterbacks don't look right. I want to see Fitzmagic hurt my ball eyes. out. Lefty quarterbacks hurt my eyes. Your favorite player is Michael Vick. It's a beautiful day outside. I had to take a breather, ladies and gentlemen. It's all good. <sighs> Just because my favorite part is Michael Vick doesn't mean I don't like dogs, okay? <laughs> he didn't do it. <laughs> There's no evidence. Never convicted. God, he was, but he's in jail for 18 months. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and? <laughs> uh, NFC Beast Rankings. I'm gonna okay. This is gonna be for real this time. Yeah, my my real one is uh, Eagles, Eagles one. I, I Washington two. Okay. Honestly, Giants had a run with TV. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a buck. My Giants are two. Giants had and a run with Tampa. The Giants. Bay. The Giants have lost to the Cowboys and the Eagles 
in Wash. Did they beat Washington? I think they lost to Washington. They're one and seven. They're but dude, they're in in literally every game, and I think that's more than you can say about most teams. And you have to think if they're in. Oh, but Washington games, won by twenty two against the Cowboys. I guess Washington had two Giants at but three. But the thing is about the Giants is like, they're in those games, right? They're mm-hmm. close in every game, and you have to think, does the result change if they have Saquon? Does the result change if if uh, Jason Garrett was their head coach instead? Absolutely, they'd be eight and eight. Like they're it's, running, it's scientifically proven like they'd be eight and eight. Devonta Freeman and Wayne Gallman. Uh. I mean, I have Wayne Gallman on my fantasy team. He's like sorry for fifth, your loss. He's my fifth string running back. I hate the FC Beasts. It's just too much competition. So many close ball games. And honestly, if Ben DiNucci can use the start, they'll definitely climb up my rankings. This division is so bad, ladies and gentlemen. Really bad. The Eagles are horrible. Yep. No, they're actually bad. Like Travis Fulgham. Travis Fulgham's one of their five good players. Travis Fulgham's actually, he surprised me. I didn't, I thought he was just going to be horrible. I don't know if I can name five players that are good on that team. I guess like Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham. Travi. Travis Fulgham. Jason Kelsey. Big fella. Miles Prop, Sanders when he comes top, back. Top. <laughs> Top. What about Carson? No love for you, boy. Dude, I've spent my entire life defending you, Mr. Wentz. We need to have a man-to-man talk, Carson. I'll just, I'll just dip out for this one. What the hell are you doing? I'll just love you. Okay, for sure. Carson, why? Why, do you, why must you do this to me? It used to be Pennsylvania. I used to love you. I cherished you. I pet you. I had a... I, I would make sweet love to you. But instead... Holy fuck. God fuck. Yeah? Can I come back? Yeah. I want to die! I want to die! <laughs> Carson, bro, that fumble he took, the first fumble he took was horrible. The second fumble doesn't count as fourth down. Who cares? And then his other picks were like, dude, what is happening? I've spent my entire life being a went over that guy. It's official. <laughs> it's official. It ain't no more. It's official. Now, I still stand by if you give Carson Wentz the weapons back, he's still a top take QB. I stand by that. His offense is so bad. It's the same thing. We ain't giving Deshaun Watson this gar- crap. We're not saying he's playing bad. He ain't winning no games. And he has Fuller, Cooks, Cobb. It's slightly better. His team is still really bad. But, like, man, Carson Wentz are bad. I want to die. And then top five power rankings. Let's just rattle them off real quick. I got to put Steelers at number one. Yeah, put respect on their name. I put Steelers at one, too. I'm putting Chiefs at two. Uh, yeah, I'll put Chiefs at two. I'm putting Seahawks at three. I'm putting Cardinals at three. Really? Wow. So I, I awesome. think they're better than people give them credit. Okay, I'm putting Nathan Peterman by himself at four. I'm putting Seahawks at four. And then Five, I'm, I'm putting Packers. I think they deserve Five, it. I'm putting Packers run defense. They're great. Super awesome job, guys. Hey, shout out all those Delvin fantasy owners. I hear you. I had him too. Delvin is forty six. Delvin's okay points. at football. Forty six. He's the best running back in the NFL. Oh. Him and Derek are right, right here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what up? No, I changed Where? my stance on Mr. Henry. That boy. You cold. a fan now? That boy cold. I love Derek Henry. I but don't actually. I think him and Dalvin are like his hair is so weird. Can we talk about how weird his hair is? It's just hard. It's like two like b- like just braids made of like concrete, Steel. <laughs> which just fits fits his running <laughs> style perfectly. Dude, but actually though, A tier running backs, Dalvin, Derek, healthy right now. You're talking about? Yeah, I'm not putting Kamara there because he's too much of a. Passer. I'm putting Kamara there. You are? Yeah, he he's their offense. Okay, then Kamara. Then he looks like a little Uzi Vert. B list, I could I could have you know the Aaron Jones of the world. Yeah, uh, Aaron Jones is the good. The Joe man. Mixons of the world. Yeah. The Giovanni Bernards of the world. Oh, Talk geez. about that handlebar, baby. Mm-hmm. Turn me up, Gio. Turn me up, Gio. Gio, you're not gonna turn me up, Gio. Yeah, you're right. Fuck you, Gio. Okay. Um. So that's that. Um. What do you think about Giannis, man? What are you thinking? 
I think if we don't win next year, or at least make it to the finals, he's gone. I don't see a way we're going to make the finals. I'm, I'm going to be real. The way they played this year was so painful to but watch. But, I mean, at the same time, there's a lot of external factors. that were, No. That traveling to the bubble, it does some. But then why did the best team win the finals? That they just proved. You're right, the team, Magic didn't win the finals. The best team was the Clippers. On paper, the best team in yeah, the Yeah, but, I mean, you could, I, the problem is I can't take Kawhi over LeBron James. Play up. PG, bro. He's dippy. But, like, that's PG-13 is G-rated. That's the thing, though. Paul George played horrible. The mm-hmm. Suns win 8-0. 2020 is a simulation. Like, what the hell was happening? What is happening? Why weren't the Suns... I, I hate Devin I Booker. I want to see Devin Booker in the playoffs. I hate Devin Booker. That's fine. I think I'm part of the 2% of, like, the population that doesn't like Devin Booker. Yeah, I think everyone's like, oh, he's just... Man, what, just put him on a good team! <laughs> Anybody can do what he does, in my opinion. Bro, he's, he's on a bad team... Fun. And he scores 25 a game because he takes 100 shots. Yeah, he's like Kobe on the Suns. Everyone's like, dude, like it's always the thing about him is like Donovan Mitchell versus him, and I think Donovan Mitchell's better. He leads his team to playoff stuff. They took a seven-game series with the, the Nuggets, who beat the Clippers. They're literally, they're like scenarios are so similar. Like Donovan Mitchell and Devin Booker are pretty similar players. I would they say both just have good defensive centers. I, I would just say you talk about Aaron Baines. Talking about DeAndre Ayton. Oh. Not Aaron Baines. <laughs> okay. No, it's cool. The one that got dunked on by Ja. We're pro Aaron Baines podcast. R O T Y. Represent twelve twelve. South Carolina, stand up. Giannis is gone, man. I don't think face so. the fact. He I'm turns off his Instagram facts. comments for a reason. I'm not gonna face I'm gonna like be in denial until it happens. Giannis is a fraud. He's got loyalty in his DNA. I have the tweet saved. I don't care. He's a fraud. He can't shoot. Loyalty got royalty. He's bad. That's it. Giannis is bad. You you might be thinking, hey, Cam, explain your thoughts. No. No, I don't. We don't do that on this podcast. Why would we have to? People mm-hmm. should just blindly trust whatever we say. Exactly. It's like the election. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm behind. Let's just stop voting. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean Sorry my energy is a little lackluster right now I'm just in a daze right now It's weird, it's like 70 degrees No, it's, it's I almost don't like it Usually in Wisconsin <laughs> November we're snowed in by now Yeah, dude, global warming is... It'll cool down, just trust me <laughs> Oh god, here we go <laughs> The annoying orange is back <laughs> again It'll cool down We don't need Extra money for the fires. Trust me. All right, well, we'll be back in a second. We'll come up with some fun stuff to end up the show. Stay tuned. <coughs> Beanie. I'll you to be honest. I have something. Uh-huh. We're going to wrap it up with some star bench cuts and oh, get Jesus out of here. Christ. We have star bench cut, M&M's, Skittles, Sour Patch Kids. That's just too easy. Really? M&M's suck. Facts. Well, I mean, like, because sour, I love, I'm a sweet candy guy. I'm big, I'm big Starburst, Skittles, Sour Patch Kids guy. You like I'm, the flavor. I, yeah, I like, I also like, Sour Patch Kids is just my personality in a shell. I love Sour Patch Kids. They're sour so and sweet. Good. And the, the little watermelon ones? Uh. What about Airhead Extremes? Hey, don't, don't get it <laughs> fucked up now. Airhead Extremes start on every list. Yeah, that's, that's a go to candy. Airhead Extremes go different. All right, what about Kit Kat, Milky Way? Crunch bar? You like crunch bars? I don't know. <laughs> Starting Kit Kat, benching crunch bar, cutting Milky Way. Okay, you don't know you're not a Milky Way guy. Mm-mm. I like oh, hey, Twix. Twix Diffy. Are you a right or a left guy? Left. I'm a lefty. You know, me and my boy James Harden cooking it up. Me too. <laughs> I'm actually, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of sick. I can do both. I'm, I'm ambidextrous. Mm. Dice roll left. That's all right. Uh. <laughs> Lay? <laughs> Lay. Um, all right, start bench cut. McDonald's. Are you a McDonald's guy? You like McDonald's? Yeah, I like McDonald's every once in a while. Uh, actually, I don't know. Uh, let's go in and out You've been to In-N-Out. Let's do In-N-Out, Culver's, and Chick-fil-A. Starting Culver's. Yeah. 
benching Chick Fil A cutting in and out. You're not in and out guy. I thought in and out was good. I think it's a little too expensive for how good it is. Wait, in and out. Oh wait, no. I'm thinking. I'm thinking of Shake Shack. Maybe yeah. yeah. In and out. In and out's good. I think it's a little overhyped. Oh yeah, I definitely get that. Because I think everyone's like, oh my god, I went to In and Out, but I think it's kind of just like a better McDonald's. It's kind of like a Burger King in my opinion. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> In and out is Burger King now? Well, not Burger King. Yeah, you're going to make our southern listeners angry. <laughs> no, I like In and Out. Burger King's the worst, I think. I don't think In and Out is as good as people no, make it out. I, to I got you, for sure. Like, I'm not waiting seven cars for In and Out, but I'm waiting nine cars for Culver's. Yeah, and I'm waiting. Straight wait, up. I, I, I could wait 25 for Chick fil A. They zooming me through that job. Well, yeah, I mean, that's not They're on the fast wait. break. It's not even a wait. They're on the fast break, like bro. Five minutes. Biden. We were, just, we were talking during the break, during our little... Yeah, we did a little... Like, we checked up on the election numbers. Yeah, because we we do what we... We know what we're, we're doing here. Biden is close in Georgia, which is unbelievable. He won Arizona, also unbelievable. Leading Michigan. Leading Michigan. Shut up, Flint. Drink up, Flint. Everybody from Flint vote Trump. Actually? They sipping something weird. They vote Trump. <laughs> they, that's, what, that's what happened. They yeah. put stuff in the water. Trump. Um, yeah, but like, yeah, so Biden... We're talking... Biden's got the outsides. He's more an ISO guard. He shoots three ball, yeah, it looks like. he's a sharp facilitator. Yeah. I mean, Trump's a paint beast. Yeah. <laughs> Trump controls the middle. Interior. He's, he's just... an interior force. Just drop-stepping drop stepping his way through Kansas, <laughs> Oklahoma. Just all... I mean, the... he is just... He's just Euro-stepping his way through the Great Plains. <laughs> just... Mm, crops. And mm. SEC country is just loving... They're just <laughs> eating up that interior force. Dabo Sweeney. Dabo Sweeney, he's, that's not the SEC. No, what is it? Beanie. Clemson has the easiest. Clemson, Notre Dame, we could talk that real quick. I didn't watch that game. No, it's Oh, happening. they're going to play, and Clemson has a four string quarterback in. Yeah. I, I want T-Law. Notre Dame to win. I like Notre Dame. You like Notre Dame? Yes. I've like I've loved Notre Dame in every sport because my grandpa went there. I gotcha. For sure. And the fighting Irish. Hey, their lacrosse helmets are all gold chrome. Yeah, and so are the football ones, too. So sick. No, I so see. So sick. See, uh,. Don't get twisted. Um, oh, you were just another person on the hit list. I hate Rudy. As Rihanna said. No, the movie's fine, but Rudy as a person, we don't. We I don't condone you. I named my dog after him. You suck, Rudy. Rudy the but like he wasn't good. Rudy Rudiger. Yep. He's like a third string linebacker. Yep. Um. No, but yeah. So like, uh, my, grandpa, my grandpa actually was at college the same time as Rudy. Except my grandpa played rugby, so basically he could beat the shit out of Rudy. Yeah, rugby's the better sport. Rugby is actually like. It's insane. I don't know how it's like it happens. I don't know how people. They, they wear, don't wear helmets, do they? No, they don't wear anything. That's ridiculous, dude. And those, when they when they pull up like the Samoans and they start doing the rugby hockey, <laughs> that's scary, bro. Oh, whoa. Hey, oh. it's scary, bro. I would be. It's would like be, Matthew McConaughey when he does his little. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I would be terrified if I was going against. I'm gonna buy a Lincoln just because of you, Matthew McConaughey. Thanks, Matthew. We just a little like thing where he's like rubbing his fingers together. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. That's my dad's. That's my dad's ringtone. <laughs> kind of awkward. I hate when he. You know, I don't know if you have this problem with your with your parents, but my parents have full volume like notifications on. So we'll be in the middle of a grocery store, and it'll just be like boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Or like my dad does the scream. He does scream too. So like when when store call, when the work calls, they like, it screams. It's like, ah! and it's like we're in the middle of the grocery store, and he's just like, he's just like doing the dad thing. We're just like, no, it's it's here, here, here. I'll do it for you. Yeah, yeah. Who's this again? Do you know this person? Dad, it's you know, Aunt Jemima. Yeah. Oh. Probably not the right choice of person that I could have came up with. Starbucks <laughs> <sighs> cut. Starbucks cut. I was about to come up with one, but I don't know. There's like three. Uh, Pillsbury Doughboy, right. Aunt Jemima, and what's the, the Michelin Man. <laughs> Starting the Pillsbury Doughboy because I always I always ate the raw dough. Oh God! When they were like before you make the biscuits, I yeah. would like, nibble on raw dough. Yeah, their cinnamon rolls is are so good. Benching Jemima because wow, that product is delicious. Yep. Except, besides the racist connotations. We yeah. I mean, you can. We're, we're soft. I'm benching the Michigan America's man soft. simply because I'd drive a Firestone. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Michelin. Isn't it Michelin Man or is it the Marshmallow Man in Ghostbusters? Which one is it? I don't think the Michelin Man would be in Ghostbusters. Oh, that's right. It's the Marshmallow Guy. 
like I just I mean the mission. The Pillsbury Doughboy is a start because you get a little poke his little belly. <laughs> He's like, whoa! <laughs> it's like me. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Beanie. Um, yeah, I mean, I, and then I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go with Angel Mayo too. I'm a big syrup guy. Well, yeah, I mean, you, it's just the thing about syrup. And if you, syrup, and also if you cut Angel Mayo, you're racist. It's just the thing <laughs> about syrup is like, if you make a waffle, or if you make a, like a, okay, let's, obviously you can eat a blueberry. Pancake. Syrup bench cut. But if you are gonna make a pancake or a waffle and you don't have syrup, that's a ruined meal. Syrup bench cut. Okay. Waffle, pancake, French toast. Starting pancake. Okay. Benching French toast, cutting waffle. Okay, so so you just think I used to be a waffle guy. Probably five years ago, asked me that question. Oh, give me that Belgian waffle. Lego, every my time. Lego. Boom. Mm. But nowadays, like nowadays, there's I'm too cool for, for a girl. Time. Nowadays, I'm too cool for a waffle. Right. Um, I just <laughs> little guy's friend of the pod. Friend of the pod. He hasn't made anything in a long time, actually. Kind of like some of his stuff. I I I don't want to be your friend. Right. Uh, I uh, I um. I used to love waffles. Chocolate chip waffles still hold a place in my heart. Right. If they're made right, it's probably a start. But they're never made right. Because they're too crunchy usually, bro. Right. I ain't a country. I ain't a crunchy waffle guy. I like them soft. Hey, blueberry pancakes, though? Chocolate chip pancakes. Uh, but I'm I'm starting French toast. French toast uh, is good. <laughs> that's, uh, that's uh, also something you can make really easily at home. I don't know if you've ever tried. but uh, Oh, my God. Good. It's really good. So starting French toast, benching pancakes, cutting the waff, cutting the waff, the wonder waff. Shout out you zombies fans out there. Yep. Start bench cut, FIFA 2K Madden. Uh, cutting Madden. I'm cutting FIFA. I hate Are we talking it. about just this year? FIFA mate? No, just overall. Overall. Mm. Starting FIFA. You're starting FIFA. Yeah. Well, this is. It was my childhood. Yeah, I haven't played <laughs> FIFA enough. 2K, bro. 2K17. Throw me back to the. I know it's going to be good times. Good times. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Bro, dude. <laughs> 2K soundtracks bring back to 2K13. I used to rule the world. Bro, I... Oh, my God. The FIFA 15 soundtrack I still listen to sometimes. Dude, so, like, dude, old soundtracks of video games, they ain't the same. They don't make them the like that. Started from the bottom, now we are. Started from the bottom, now we are way up. up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, dude, frick. That just puts me in the feels. That makes me feel, that's what makes me feel oldest most of the time. Or when I see, like, I, I'm watching, like, a movie on HBO, and it's, like, made in 2011 in the info, and I'll, and it'll be like, I'll be like, oh, that was made for four, three years ago, and that wasn't very long ago at all. Nine. And I'm like, oh my god. I'm 17. Or like Harry Potter, bro. I'm good, yeah. Or Star Wars, Star Wars was made, like, 40 years ago. Well, we weren't alive for that, so it's no. But less like, of an I still would watch a Star Wars movie. Show. And like the graphics for Star Wars, way ahead of its time. Yeah. Way. Ahead Which of is kind of sad, but yeah. Way ahead of its time. Too ahead. Also, uh, Tanner, loyal pod listener, wants to get on for some WWE talk. It might happen. Mm -hmm. uh, we gotta talk about your list, my guy. He put Fantastic Beasts and where to find them in his Harry Potter power rankings. Yeah, Tanner, if you're listening, I like the list up until the Fantastic Beasts. I think Deathly Hallows Part Two at one is like solid. Like you, you can argue with dude. It. Fantastic. Well, he Goblet had he he had my good. one two three. Yeah, Goblet of Fire Two is a solid pick as well. But, but dude, I, I, I just Fantastic didn't like Beasts. The where to Beasts. find them? It's not like even him. a Harry Potter movie, bro. Well, it's like it's like what's naming a Newt or something. Yeah. Bro, that guy's that dude's a Kappa. Crimes of Grindelwald, like. I didn't even watch that one, honestly. That's kind of that's not. That's kind of that's kind of on me for not watching the Grindelwald because it looks a little interesting to me. Because I've always thought they should go off that, but the problem is, and I love Dumb Johnny, yeah. Dumbledore's not in that, right? And like, don't, dude, how is Dumbledore not? In, that's literally the, what they talk about in Harry Potter yeah, all the time. The whole thing is like Dumbledore and Grindelwald. Yeah. You can't say Dumbledore without the Grindelwald. Sorry, so you cut. can't say Pop without the smoke. I 100% agree. Star Bench Cut, Toy Story, Cars, and Monsters, Inc. Starting Cars. Life is a highway. Benching Monsters, Inc. Cutting Toy Story. Wow, you really just did that. You really just did that. Mike Wazowski. Uh, dude, I'm... I, I'm watching you, Wazowski. <laughs> dude, Cars 1... Cars is a start. Fire. Cars should start. Cars 2? Audible. 
I think they came out with the Cars 3. I didn't watch. Okay, but I'm too that's old. fine. Cars 1 is so good. Uh, But, dude, Toy Story? I gotta start Toy Story. Really? Benching Monsters, Inc. Dude, Monsters University was, like, actually really good. Mm-hmm. It was. When I, when I can watch a movie at this age and be like, dude, that's an awesome cartoon movie, that's when you know it's good. Inside Out was good. Inside Out's good. Take her to the moon. Sad. Really sad. Gotta be crying the, the new club. Toy Story was whack. Four? The one with where like, it's like a fork. Like get the or F out of, get or the something? fork out of here. <laughs> what the fork? Nice. Boom. Yo all day. Yeah, no, that was my uh, my special needs aunt, shout out you, Aunt Carol. You really like Toy Story 4. You gave it an eight out of ten. Wow, Carol. Carol Baskin. Carol. <laughs> uh, whack. And yeah, Aunt Carol, I gotta disagree with you on this one. Sporky was whack. Sporky, you might have liked it because I think Sporky was special in the kids. If he wasn't, then they did a really bad job portraying him. Yeah. Uh, Toy Story 3, though, is the best one, I think. Which one is that? The one where, like, he Andy grows up and gives the toys to the little girl at the end. It's also with, like, Lotso the bear. That that dude used to scare the shit out of me. Bro, Lotso's got, like, a deep voice. He's, like... That used to, is that the one with the, like, trash compactor? Yeah, at the end. He, like, comes back from the dead. It's like Chucky. Yeah. <laughs> like Annabelle or something. It's scary. Also, fun fact of uh, the day to leave you guys off on. Um, Matthew Lindley's going to appreciate this one. You said, how, uh, teddy bear in Spanish? Peluche. Why, you learned something today. Why would Matthew Lindley appreciate that? Uh, freshman year in a personal, we just, he said Peluche like 30 times because he had his entire thing scripted like he weren't supposed to. But so he like memorized it all in his head, mm -hmm. and he said Peluche like forty times, and I was laughing the entire time. Peluche. Like we actually didn't get anything done. It's timed for like five minutes. I spent like four minutes laughing, and I felt really bad. There was a senior girl that was also with us, and like she was just like, "I'm just here so I don't get fined." Shout out, shout out, beast mode. Shout out, beast, beast mode. mode. Go beast mode. Oh. I like that. That about wraps it up. Shout out Joe Biden, the ISO God. Shout out Donald Trump. It was it was an interesting four years. We're gonna honestly. And I'm concerned for SNL. I'm, a, I'm an SNL watcher, and all they do is talk about you, Donald. They can still talk about Donald. Yeah, they can. They have a lot for a couple of, more weeks, though. A lot of material. I'm honestly scared. And Jim Carrey plays Joe Biden on SNL, so that'll be fun. I'm scared to see what happens to our country, no matter who wins. I'm not. As long as, as, long as LeBron is still in the NBA. As long as he's still boozing and cruising. <laughs> you know, hey. We need to come back. You know what we need to come back from? Hmm. Boogie Cousins. Come back, man. That's random. It's so random. <laughs> it's the part to get down so random. You remember that show on Disney? Oh, yeah. Well, three, two, one. Peace.